Hello there, this is Mary Demuth and this is Pray Every Day where I pray through the Bible verse by verse. So grateful to have you here with me today and it's just another day to breathe in the air, to exhale our stress as a prayer to the Lord and to be alive and to love the people that God has given us in our lives to love. And so it's a privilege to be able to live one more day on this earth. It's a privilege to be able to worship the Lord. It's a privilege to spend time together in prayer. Um, Thank you. Thank you very much for um, allocating this time to be prayed for. It says a lot about your heart that you want to hear scripture and be prayed for. So the scripture today is Matthew 25, 1 through 13. This is in the MEV, the Modern English Version of the Bible, and this is what it says. This is Jesus talking. Then the kingdom of heaven shall be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were wise and five were foolish. Those who were foolish took their lamps but took no oil with them. But the wise took jars of oil with their lamps. While the bridegroom delayed, they all rested and slept. But at midnight there was a cry, Look, the bridegroom is coming, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins rose and trimmed their lamps. But the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps have gone out. The wise answered, No, lest there not be enough for us and you. Go rather to those who sell it and buy some for yourselves. But when they went to buy some, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the wedding banquet, and the door was shut. Afterward, the other virgins came also saying, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he answered, Truly I say to you, I do not know you. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. Mind if I pray for you? Lord, I um, I find it fascinating in this parable that the um, foolish virgin, virgins thought they knew the bridegroom. But his response was, not, you don't know me. It was, I don't know you. And Lord, we want to, in light of that, in light of that very powerful statement, we want to be known by you. And to be known by you is to open our hearts to you. Um, We don't want to live aloof from you or live as if you don't exist. Um, We tend to sometimes, at least sometimes in some of my days, I don't know about you, but we tend to live as practical atheists. We live our lives without the strength of God. We throw him a a prayer during meal, uh, the next meal that we have, or we uh, yell at him in a crisis, but we don't let him in on the other times. And so, Lord, that's not what we want. Please transform our hearts so that we are known by you. That means that we have to be vulnerable before you. It means we have to open up our hearts before you. It means letting you into the inner landscape of our lives. Of course, you know it all. Of course, it's all there. But this is about cultivating a strong and abiding relationship with you where we let you in on the fears that we have nursing at night. (laughs) And I know I have them in the middle of the night when I'm battling that ancient fear called insomnia, I can either be tempted to ruminate or give you those fears. And so, Lord, help us to be known by you. Help us also, as this parable points out, to be wise, to be ready, to um, live in wisdom. And Lord, I just thank you so much for giving us so much wisdom in your bio, in your scriptures particularly the book of Proverbs and the book of James. There's just so much wisdom in both of those. And so, Lord, I pray for those who are lacking it today, who feel like they've made foolish decisions and they just need more wisdom. Lord, would you shower them with your blessing in those books, in Proverbs and James. Um, Help them to saturate themselves in your wisdom and to know what it means to follow you and to be known by you. Lord, uh, you tell us to watch. You don't know whether the day or the hour is when the Son of Man is coming. And so, Lord, help us to be alert, to not be lulled into sleep or to deaden ourselves with occupations or with things or with medication or anything that dulls us to hearing your voice. Lord, as I read throughout the Old Testament and I'm kind of making my way through right now, a lot of the times it says things like you did not hear the voice of God, that the Israelites did not hear God's voice. And Lord, that is an indictment against them and we don't want it in our lives. We want to hear your voice. And I know that um, 
oftentimes it comes in that still, small, quiet place. And so we just want to be quiet enough today to worship you and to hear what you have to say to us because your words are wisdom, your words are life, and we want to desperately know your heart and we want to be known by you. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks so much for listening to Pray Every Day. This podcast is sponsored by Faithful Counseling, in addition to all the patrons out there who have been really helping. Um, Faithful Counseling is an online counseling platform, and uh, if you've been wanting to get some counsel and you haven't been able to make it fit into your schedule or you like the idea of being able to do it from home online um, via video, It's been great for me. It's really been helping me get through a lot of things. So you can try it out. Go to getfaithful.com slash pray every day for a 10% off your first month of counseling. And if you do do that, I just pray that um, anything that you feel stuck in, there would be a, a point of unstuckness. That's my prayer for you. Hang in there. You are loved, friend. Bye bye.